Well, Brian Terra of East Providence was on board that Royal Caribbean cruise ship with about 40 other people from Rhode Island and Massachusetts. This evening, they're back on dry land following a vacation at sea that was extended for less than ideal reasons. The 4,400 guests on board Royal Caribbean's Liberty of the Seas were supposed to be back in Galveston, Texas on Sunday, but Hurricane Harvey had other plans. Brian Terra of East Providence was aboard that ship, remembering the moment the captain said the conditions were too dangerous to return to port. Terra captured this video of the ship anchored eight miles offshore. It was a very feeling. It was, I think, 24 total, like, uh, both cargo ships all around us just sitting in the water and not moving. Terra says they couldn't feel the storm, but they could see it. Soon, news of the catastrophic damage in Houston made its way to the ship. It was an intense feeling with everybody, with everybody being from mainly from Texas and a lot of tears. One particular couple we met that lived, uh, I think they said a few miles outside of Houston, their daughter had called them and told them, don't come home. It was, uh, they had no house left. They, they were an elderly couple. Um, they just, they had nothing. Their loss putting Terra's situation into stark perspective. We were complaining about the extra two days on a cruise ship when we have things to do at home. And they have absolutely nothing to go home to. And Terra says about half of the passengers got off the ship at the port of Miami. He and his traveling companions hope to be back here in Rhode Island tonight. I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.